Bagish is asking from Seattle. Is the goal to eliminate fear completely or to be not affected by fear as one witnesses it within? I ask because as long as one has expectations from others, one needs to fulfill their desires which can inhibit freedom and create fear. Fear is not an external object. Fear is your relationship with that object. When you say or ask, is fear about remaining unaffected by fear, then you are talking about the relationship between you and that object. If you can remain unaffected, then the relationship is broken. So, there is no fear. Are you getting it? If there is a monster in this room and you are not conscious of it and thereby you have no relationship with it, would there still be fear? If there is a monster in this room and you know of it, but have forgotten him, would there still be fear? So, fear is an active relationship with something. The moment you say that you can remain unaffected by that thing, that relationship is already broken. So, there is no fear. It is not things that disturb you, but your perception of what those things can do to you. Are you getting it? Hmm? Does a tiger in a cage terrify you? When you go to a zoo, does a tiger in a cage terrify you? Now, the cage is suddenly lifted, gone. What happens to you? Now, the same tiger can do something to you. So, was it the tiger that was scary? Had the tiger been scary, then you should have been afraid even when it was encaged, but you are not afraid then. So, it is not about the tiger, it is about what the tiger can do to you. So, is the fear about the other or is it about your own sense of perceived vulnerability? Hmm? The more vulnerable you take yourselves to be, the more anything will be able to terrify you. And if you are not vulnerable, then why talk of this and that? Take care of your vulnerability and ask yourself, how is it that I have come to consider myself so dependent? so much at the mercy of situations and others. What is it in me that the other can really take away? What if the other does the worst he can still? What is it that he will be able to reduce from me? Surely, there is something that he can take away, but what is the value of that which he can take away? You must see to what extent are you really dependent on the other. Your fear is a product of your assessment that the other supports you, the other creates you and therefore, the other can one day reduce you or destroy you. Is that assessment justified? Find that out. See whether you are just a collection 
of things of dependencies that can be stolen or blocked any moment. And even if you come to the conclusion that you are indeed just an assortment of various items that you obtained from here and there, then tell me what is the worth of such a life? If your life is indeed bits and pieces randomly collected from him and her, why not simply give up on such life? Or ask yourself, to whom are these bits and pieces coming? And if he was there even before the bits and pieces, what makes you think that he would not be there after the bits and pieces? Or did the bits and pieces really create you, build you up? By the way, that is what you really think. You think that 2 percent of you comes from here, 4 percent of you comes from there in a psychological sense, even in a material sense. Air comes from atmosphere, water comes from water purifier, electricity comes from the grid, kidney comes from the donor. food comes from the mega store. Even in the physical sense, you feel that you are just some kind of an eclectic assortment. Are you? Is that what you are? I am not trying to impress upon you any answer. But if you indeed are just a random collection, then let this collection go to hell. How are you enjoying or benefiting from just being in this position? Look at the urge in your heart, who gave it to you? Hmm? And if they did not, how can they take it away? See whether you are understanding what I am saying right now. Who enabled you to understand? And if nobody did, who will take away your understanding? When you have no tensions, no worries, no loads, you still are and not only are you there, you are actually blissfully there. With nothing you are blissfully there, only with nothing you are blissfully there. And if you can be blissful with nothing, who will take away this nothing from you? That is the powerlessness of others. They can take away from you only as long as there is something to be taken away. If there is one thing that nobody can take away from you, that is nothing. Who can rob you of your nothingness? And if nobody can, why are you so anxious? Chill. You have nothing to lose and that nothing cannot be lost.
ਕਠਿਨ